Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder and I've come up to the Hambleside Danelaw Training Centre for dry sill roofing. Now this is a GRP system, but it's a GRP system with a, a difference. You may know the wet systems where you roll it all on. This is, as the name suggests, dry sill, which is a completely different way of going around it. And it's done because with the wet system, there's a fairly high number of failures because of expansion and contraction and the membrane opening up so you'll see what's involved in the dry seal system and how different it is and Paul Lambert he's the training officer he's a technical field support guy so he goes out and looks at problems with leaking roofs and hopefully you don't get any with this system and the reason you don't get any is because everybody that buys this system has to come on a two-day training course they have to be thoroughly trained they have to receive the certificate and then they become an approved contractor so this isn't for joe blogs this is for specialist contractors but if you're looking for a roof that won't leak this could be the one the basis of the roof is a layer of GRP sheeting that is free to move independently from the structure. So there are no stresses placed upon the membrane and therefore no cracking along the seams. Now this differs dramatically from those wet applied systems which are basically completely tethered to the roof structure so that if the roof structure moves very slightly the GRP cracks. And this is where a lot of problems occur with the wet laid systems. Now the dry seal system is also free to breathe because that loose layer, if you like, lying on top has a tiny amount of air gap so that any moisture, any vapor can migrate towards the edges of the scape. This is helped because when the wind blows over the top of the roof, you get a very, very slight bellows effect as it moves up and down very, very slightly. And that again will help the moisture to migrate towards the edges. And you notice the edges aren't fixed. In other words, the moisture can creep up the outside and away. Just making sure there's resin between each section there because it soaks through into the... We're doing square buckets purely because you can see how many litres. Right. So who's going to tell me how much I need in here? If it's feeling quite warm, and if you've got a slight breeze, it's going to go off quick. The top coat goes off quicker than your resin. That is me. Okay. That's 60. What are you looking for? Is that? Not that, you're looking for a nice thickness. If that's on your roof like that. So at this stage, the roof is actually watertight and a recoat of that color to keep the UV rays off it in say 10 to 15 years will extend the life of this roof and the life expectancy of this roof far exceeds that of wet laid systems but really a little bit of maintenance every so often goes a long way. So I hope you found that interesting. If you want any more information, if you want to get onto one of those training courses at Hambleside Danelaw, or you would like to have this roof on your extension or your house, then get in touch with Hambleside Danelaw and they can put you on to an installer. I'm Roger Bisbee. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because subscribers are our favorite people.